Okay, we are going to start. We are going to start. Well, good evening, everybody. Thank you for being here. And um, welcome, welcome to this webinar on behalf of the PMI Lima chapter. I am Sergio Vasquez, leader of the Academy of English for Project Management. What we do in the Academy? Well, we offer some conversation courses for the uh, PMI chapter uh, members. One of them is just about, uh, just, just finished uh, last week, and one is just about to start at the end of June. So be ready, uh, be connected, because you can participate, of course. Um, we connect to uh, different things that are English and project management in the academy. That means that uh, the people who have good skills in English, they have the chance to practice here in the Academy of English, uh, talking with, about topics of project management. And we offer sometimes webinars like tonight's one, uh, conversation courses, and we have also a LinkedIn group. So if you want to participate, we, uh, we welcome you. So there's a lot of chances that you can do. Be alert, be ready for the emails that you can receive. Well, uh, I, I introduced then our project manager for the last course that is already finished. And of course, for this nice webinar also organized by that team. So I introduce, please, uh, Alan Garcia, the project manager. Uh, Alan, please. Hi, everyone. Hope you have, you know, you're enjoying your, your evening. Um, I'd like to just say thanks, you know, for for being here, for attending this uh, webinar. Uh, we're just, we prepared, you know, like these, all the materials and all the slides, you know, for, for this like very interesting topic, which is neuroscience applied in project management. So it's, it's a very, very um, thought provoking topic. Um, for that we will have, I'd like just to introduce our, our speaker, which is Ariel Risi. Oh, he has like, a, I'll give a quick introduction, you know, of Ariel's uh, background. Um, he has like 26, over 26 years of experience, you know, working in several uh, multinational companies. Uh, he's an agile, agile coach and project manager in a PM. Um, you know, he, he's worked with multicultural teams around the world, you know, in industries such as the energy banking and telecom. He's also specialized in just organized organizational and human change management. Um, for this, um, we'll have him tonight to, to talk to us about neuroscience. Um, also, you know, he's a certified from Master Agile Leadership with teams within organizations. Um, he's finishing, he's in progress doing his master, in master's degree in Business School of Madrid. So. Uh, without further ado, I'd like to just introduce our speaker tonight, you know, and also one of our coaches from last session, Ariel Risi. Floor's over to you, Ariel. You'd like to say any anything to, to the folks yes, just here? Thank you so much, uh, Sergio and Alan. You know, I'm very happy to be here. And thank you so much for, for the kind welcome and also for helping me just to connect because, you know, folks, behind behind the scenes, uh, Sergio and Alan were working very hard to uh, grant me access. So, you know, the you know, last minute issues that will always happen, you know, we are project managers, so we know that this happens. So, you know, so it is part. Again, thank you so much for having me and for uh, giving me this opportunity to share what I learned about neuroscience. And, uh, you know, I hope uh, you will uh, find useful and after our uh, session you may be able I hope that you may be able to use on your daily activities not only as project managers maybe on your daily activities as well so yeah thank you Alan so quick, anything quick, you would like to mention before quick, we can yes quick, the quick, first slide quick question like uh, uh a couple of housekeeping uh, items, um, Ariel. Uh, how would you like to proceed when it comes to like questions? Would you like to like, to anyone to uh, ask your questions anytime or just at the at the end of the slide? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, and thank you so much for bringing that out. Yeah, you know, each of you are my customers. So if you, uh, what I would need is just your help, Alan. If you can please uh, read the comments in the chat. But if someone has any questions, would like feel free to open your microphone at any time. 
So you know, just uh, rise and, and or, or raise your hand, uh, Serge, uh, Anand or Sergio may, may be able to take a look, and they can let me know. You know, but just yeah, feel free uh, to ask your questions in the chat or you know by open the, the mic whenever you consider. You know, uh, what I always uh, present different subjects on topics. Uh, what I want is just a fluid communication. In other words, uh, you know, it is not me that. Uh, the only one that will talk, you know, will share this. What I would listen also is uh, to know your experiences, because in my opinion, and for my previous experiences, this is why we have, you know, when we have reach, you know, we're the goal, you know, we, we dig and dig and dig and we found something that in the end it is useful for each of us. So that is why, you know, feel free to interrupt. There is no interruption, you know, just questions. And this is why, you know, the communication that we use is, it is what keep us, you know, alive and the communication also. So feel free to do whatever, whatever channel you prefer. Okay. Again, folks, you know, as a recap, you know, uh, I'll, I'll be reading all your questions in the chat and also you raise your hand. I'll, I'll try just, you know, uh, to let Ariel know. Um, please just try to get the most out of this because I've just, I, uh, I went through the slides and they're just very, very just uh, interesting topic and we will have, we will come out with this with very just, you know, good insights. So, so please uh, go ahead. Great. Thank you. You're, Thank you're you so magic. much. Thank you, Alan. Well, you know, folks, as Alan mentioned, um, we previously worked uh, with the English classes and, you know, I also really enjoyed because, you know, you know, it's different experiences from different participants on their, you know, daily life or also, uh, you know, doing a recap of the print book as well. So it was also for me a great experience. But this is something that I wanted to mention to mention to each of you. And one thing that I believe it is, it maybe, you know, it is just a, a highlight that uh, in PMI in Buenos Aires, there is a part of a team of of a researcher team that we are doing an investigation to run integrated project delivery. That is a framework that it is used in the construction. And during 2019 in, in the Olympic games in Peru, this method, this framework, this, this kind of framework and contract was used in a very succeed at it, and it is a business case for all other countries in the world. Even you know that the whole the higher project management came from the United Kingdom, but uh, I think that you know this is what I want to show is that when we combine forces all together, as you almost all did in Peru, uh, great results could come. You know, and just uh, the project was delivered in a very short time according to the budget and using the integrated project delivery. If you want, after our meeting, if you want, you can Google it. And if you, you can feel free to reach me uh, offline or uh, maybe I do not know if you uh, share my email. Uh, and otherwise I will, I, if you can. Yeah, definitely we it, can just, uh, yeah, yeah li li we can leave yeah, it uh, till the end. Mm -hmm. So folks, yeah, thank you. Know, you. Just, okay. okay, so what? I will not ramble any longer. So, you know, before uh, moving to our first slide, yeah, you know, just I would like to do a recap because as I mentioned, each of you are my customers. So, you know, this training is for you. So, you know, I would like to know if you can please raise your hand your, uh, in the, the face one, in the palm, I mean, in the chat, if you have heard anything about neuroscience, you know, not in project management, but, you know, as a whole, as, as any topic, you know, you may listen some tech talk or, you know, uh, as a colleague or friend or any doctor that may talk you or something that you have heard. If you can please raise your hand in, 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 the, um, in the emotions, you know, when you can see in the, we do have the emotions there, the reactions, you will see, you know, I just, I will show you, just you can put the, the thumbs up as I did as the sample. So to see, I would like to know how many folks uh, know about or have, have heard of this, you know, it is, just a recap, just to understand and to deliver the content according uh, to your need uh, and to your knowledge, basically. And one last thing that, you know, I have two monitors, so for instance, I will take a look because I am presenting here and I have the camera. So just I wanted to let you know that I, from time to time I will talk. Okay, so how many 
Uh, Alan, you, can you help me just to count if there are some faces or thumbs up? Yeah, actually, I, I raised my hand, but there's mm -hmm. a there's a, a handful of, of folks that are familiar with neuroscience. Great. Okay. But uh, overall, I think this will be a brand new topic. Mm -hmm. um, we're just very excited, you know. Sure. Yeah, me too. Because you know, uh, yeah, I thank you. Thank you for the ones that raise your hand. Okay, great. So uh, let's go to the first slide. So you know, this is me. Uh, yes, as I mentioned, I will not go. Just you know, I love to learn. And you know, first of all, I want to make a disclaimer. I am not a neuroscientist, but you know, I read a lot, and I uh, and I read books, and I also listen different kind of techno of uh, neuroscience speeches. I uh, read books also. Uh, you know, I have a mentor. He doesn't know he's my mentor, but as you know, it is an Argentinian. His name is Stanislao Bachrach. Let me tag his name, Stanislao Bachrach. He's a PhD in biologist. And you know, so first, uh, let's start with, with this one. Let me see if I can move. Okay. So if you can, you know, feel free to open your mic or to uh, write in the chat, please. What do you expect? about uh, this talk from today. What, what would you like to be the outcome for you by end of this talk? You can write your comments on the, on the chat. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not seeing any comments, okay. But I am all ears. So if someone would like to talk and just provide your favor and you know what, what do you expect, just uh, it could help me a lot. Any thoughts? You can also mm -hmm. open your mics if, if you want. Yes, yeah, so I'll write in the chat. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Okay. Thank you, Carmen. Carmen. Thank you so much. Yeah, to know some kind of advice from neuroscience to improve in project management. Great, thank you. Great, and you know, I always joke about this, you know, because we are in project management world, Alan, we know this joke, uh, but you know, when we are in PMI, we say, oh, of course it's, I mean, it's, for us it's common that pro PM stands for project management. However, when we are in the agile world, what PM stands for? Product manager. So, you know, why, why this, this, you know, discrepancies happens, you know, does each of us, if you are in the agile world, you, you it's pretty basic that uh, PM, it is a product manager, but if we are in the PMI, it is, you know, uh, yeah, that, that is another, thank you so much, Omar, yes, yes. Oh, said Milagros, yeah. So yes, you know, yeah, project team as well, yeah. But what, what I was saying is just, you know, we see the truth, it's maybe, for each of us, you know, PMI and Agile. And it is fine, isn't it? Because both are right, none of them are wrong, but they are seen from different worlds. So it's, it is pretty, pretty important. And we will see that as an artifact, you know, how can we emphasize, how can we connect in order to generate synergy with the other member in the project team or with our stakeholders or someone else. Okay, great. And thank you so much for once who already. I'm a student, I'm excited to learn about neuroscience. Thank you, uh, Jackina. Thank you so much. Yes. I hope uh, you, you will start this, this journey. No, also, you know, it's a long one. Yeah. Also, yes, uh, a, on. sh a shout out to Janina who just helped us with translating the slides, you know, last minute. Oh, and thank you. <laughs> thank yes. you so much for making this possible. <laughs> you saved the day, Janina. Thank you so much. Yeah. We appreciate We appreciate it. Yes, yes. And thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so yeah, thank you all. I already know how many of you have heard at least, you know, a bit of a neuroscience. So you know, neuroscience is it is the biology that studies the brain and in the way that our brain behaves. So you know, in the next slides we will see that there is a pattern. And I would like to know if you can raise your hand again. How many of you? You know, we're thinking something, and when you uh, you you were focusing somewhere, but then you uh, shake your hand to the right of your left, and you saw something that you were thinking. If you can please, some of you, some the one who faced this, you know, let's say from now to one year ago, what about that? 
price you have ever happened. Uh, and I bet you that some of you would, would face this scenario because you know just our brain are looking for patterns and then we will see why. But you know, this is why important because if you have to think, you know, the brain versus the mind, you know, the brain is the hardware we will see in the next one. And the mind is the software. It is the neurons that are connected to each other. I mean, it, it, is, it is quite funny and interesting because when we, when we learn something new, there are new connections that neurons establish, you know? We have 86 billions of neurons in our brain. And you may ask, okay, so how, how does the science know about this? So, well, yeah, let me tell you that the, sci the neuroscience, you know, did a, a huge, huge advance thanks to the IMC devices that are the ones that can scan our brain. So, you know, our, our brain, as I mentioned, 86 billion of neurons are uh, interconnected each other. But when we learn a new thing, we establish a new connection between neurons. Those, there, there are very, you know, shortcuts and connection, but after we become and do the habit to do that, that path becoming grow, it's becoming bigger and bigger, you know? It is now from a very tiny one uh, in order to have a narrow one. That is why, and let me give you just one very, very little sample that once you learn to ride a bike, you will never, ever forget. In other words, you know, you may say, oh, when you, when you learn to drive and then after, you know, X number of months of year, you will become, you will feel, you know, maybe nervous and, you know, not so sure, but those neurons, which does those connections between the neurons are already there. So the path is done. And, and, and I would like to share another example, you know, uh, I do not know how many ride to the office or, you know, a place that you usually go. If you can please uh, uh, raise, raise your hand in the chat, that, that could help us. Because, you know, the, the ones that I, will, I would like to ask a, a question to, to those, to those for easy, you know, just, I will not ask for your ranking accounts, no worries, but just, uh, uh, if someone would like to, oh, would, would would that always write to some location, you know, before maybe the, the COVID of course, but just uh, someone would like to share. I do not see, Alan, you may help me uh, if someone is yeah. raising his or her hand. Okay, so I will do with Sergio. Anyone? Sergio, when you go, uh, can you please rem share with us which is a place that you usually go by riding your car or driving your car or riding your motorbike or bike or whatever? Oh, Any oh yes, yes. That you usually go? Well, well, sometimes I don't know what I'm really doing. It is like in an automatic way. In some parts, some parts of the path, um, I go by the same road. I don't know. I'm not concentrated enough and it goes anyway to the right place. There you are. And I bet that some of us, thank you so much, Sergio. And I bet you that some folks had the same exact feeling of you. But you know, you you remember when you sat on your car and then you realize you are there. And this is because, you know, we when we are doing the same path, you know, we go straight forward two miles, one, uh, one at our right, then you know straight forward one mile another and then turn uh, turn left and then we are up to the other. So, so you know that is why our brain has two main two sort of brains inside. We will see in the next one. But what I'm trying to say is and like the sample of riding a bike I mentioned, you know, we are not thinking, you know, we're not rationalized what we are doing. It's something that we do in automatic mode because those connections are already there. And as you know, we, our, our brain assess the situation, okay, drive, to the, drive the car towards the office. Okay, I know which is the, neuro, the neuroscience map that, I, that the brain should use. And that is why, and that is part, you know, that is part of the software. It is part of 
the main. And you know, and let me ask you one question to the audience as well, but yes, I would like to uh, say yes or, yes or no, yes, but please write on the chat. And I will not continue if you do not fill out, but I would like to see at least uh, 10 answers, if you don't mind. Do we use our entire brain? What do you think? Comments? No, no way. way. Okay, Sergio, <laughs> thank you. Who else? No. No. There's some movie, right? About like one person utilizing. Not at all. Okay, Cameron. It's impossible. <laughs> okay, Angelo, thank you. Who else? Only, Only Lucy. Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, no. No. Great. Okay. Thank you, thank you so much for the ones who answered. And you know, let me tell you one thing. We do not use the whole brain in, in one uh, concurrently. Yeah, because we only use, uh, we're close, Angelo. We only use 20% at the same time. That means that we use our brain, but as we do not use entirely. You know, 80, as I mentioned, 86 billion neurons, because we only use 2%. And you know, every time that we change or we do something, you know, for example, I am talking to you, but I got a message. So some parts of my brain, you know, the darker, the presentation one, and the, uh, the cell phone part, just, you know, okay, turn it on. And you can see that into an IMC device and what, what Carlos says. But the thing is that, you know, only, only, uh, sorry, I said, yeah, uh, only, and this is because, you know, we have some limitations about the capability of our brain. So it is, it is very, very, you know, um, we cannot use more than that. <clears throat> and, and, you know, I'm thinking, I, I got just, uh, I'm terribly sorry, but I just, it's 2%, not 20. It is 2%. I, I got confused. I, I, when I saw it 15%, I, it is only 2%. Percent we can use at the same time. Uh, you know, just if, in other words, we use our, and you know, for example, Picasso used 2%. You know, Alan used 2%. We used 2%. You know, not at the same, I mean, not the whole entire brain, but just, you know, that 2% when we are doing that. And then we will see, you know, how these three brains that we will see that it is the reptilian the limbic and the neocortex will work together. And this is, this is the first step in order to discuss. And the neuroscience identified this, you know, that we are a result of our thinking. It's amazing, but if you, you know, there are no emotions positive or negative. The, the, that feeling comes from the assessment that we do based on our Feelings and our thinking, you know, the way that I think, okay, this, uh, I'm, you know, I would like to share a very brief example. Let's assume we are stuck in the traffic jam. There was a car accident, you know, a few months ahead, just, you know, we are, we need to spend, we will arrive, you know, hours later. Or maybe just we are on public transportation. So, you know, we may have two options. One, okay, said, it increases, say, oh, I want to go home, I want to go home, and get anxious, you know, the cortisona that your body will generate will get you more excited and say, oh, come on, I want to go, I want to go, I want to go home. But on the other hand, you may say, okay, so there is nothing that I can do because I cannot control that. But I cannot control the way that I may feel in order to wait till that problem is resolved because it is out of my control area. So in other words, you know, I may just, when I face the situation, I was, you know, listen to just music. I said, okay, there is nothing I can do. So I stay in the car, listen to just music, and, or, you know, listen to some, uh, some audio from Simon Sinek, who's the, the author of Starting with Why. So that is why, and you know, the, the neuroscience in, in, in the brain versus the mind, and the neuroscience in, in, in project managers is a key because, you know, we as project managers are accountable project team is responsible. So how can we help, how can we encourage these folks to become more, have better commitment? I wouldn't say that they do not have commitment, but you know, that they feel 
them for that they feel that they can do mistakes or you know in order to generate more trust with each of them and it is a key that we as project managers we try to understand each member of our project team and and and, and something you know that it is out of our comfort zone our brain feels so you know you will see uh, as again you know that the thing is and the other thing. It, it, you will see the body language that you know if they put stay in place and, and you know they, they will start to look at that mm, okay so that, that is part of your in something that it is un, unknown it's classified as you know as a threat and why because, you know when we were and 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 i will i will give you another story that you will remember something wrong versus Something, something that was good, something that may hurt you, you know, versus something that was good. And why? Because, you know, this part of our reptilian brain, of, I mean, the limbic, the middle brain, it is, it is responsible for the feelings. But for the way that our brains were built, the reptilian, the limbic, and your cortex, it, it helped us to stay focused on the negative things because it's a pan African, so we were, were Thrives if we were not focused on the bad things. The next day, the next day we are going to be death. So this is why uh, it is not that we are so negative that we put focus on the bad things. But you know, it is the way in those three brains are connected. Our brain doesn't know if we are in the African savanna or if we are in the office or if we are watching a Netflix movie. If if we are James Bond or those you know spiders are real. One important thing, you know, uh, and just do you remember that have you heard the phrase that you know one image can say a thousand words? Have you heard that? Okay, so if you see, if you see, because it is seventy-five percent of information comes from our from our eyes, and our eyes develop much much earlier than our communication, the teaching, you know, the symbol. So everything that we see we perceive and something that is why you know when we when i try to give a presentation i try to use a lot of images you know just to uh deliver a different information and you know it is a piece of advice as part of the artifacts i mentioned that you can share with your teams in the future you know when we have a tons of writing or bullets you know by having an image just it may you know connect easily and our brains could find patterns in order to understand the idea. Let me just bring it up the word. About this, about this slide, I will find, you know, brain versus mind, neurosciences, project managers, we discuss some, some artifacts, emotions, and the mind of project manager. So, you know, how, how can we help that? How can we, how can we, you know, sense that and not, not to leave that feeling Wrong, you know, try to understand and try to understand what is behind that. You know, not not that is from the individual or from the you know, it is a situation that is that way. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, folks, I, I was seeing that if you can please uh, tell your I would like to see uh, your faces or your actions, you know, your known verbal communication. I know that it is uh, it is 731. Uh, in, in Peru, but if you can please do so, I will appreciate because, you know, I, sometimes I, I like to see some faces that it killed me. Uh, and thank you, Carmen. And it helped me, you know, just to see, okay, so if you, you may have a question that you, you know, you would like to get additional information. So thank you so much. And if you can please, yes, I, I will, I will appreciate it. Mm -hmm. All right, good. So, uh, let's move to next one. Let me go there. Yes. Okay. What is neuroscience? What you mentioned, you know, it is the biology, the way that our neurons are connected, the way that, uh, the, the scientists learn our brain and understand that our brain, you know, and they they read that our thoughts make a big, big difference. If I come to the to this presentation say this way, my my brain will understand that I'm sad and I don't want to give you this person. So, so you know, by the, end, by the end of this, I will feel sad because, you know, it is my feelings that generates actions and then generates, you know, the, the, the final end, the outcome. 
So, you know, how can I apply on my daily life? Okay, assess if I, you know, 85% of our feelings or our emotions are part of the limbic brain. Then what our brain tries to do is just to justify by a new cortex. And, you know, one important thing, imagine that we have these uh, three, these three um, brains in, a, in our whole brain. So, you know, five million years. The other one has two million years of difference and the neocortex 1,000 years. So, you know, there is, uh, when our brain was developed, so, you know, first the reptilian, then the limbic, and then the neocortex, there is a huge difference. So that is why 85% of our feelings are part, a result of the limbic brain. And that is the, the science identified that, you know, in the East, uh, the, the different cultures already, you know, have a connection between the, the, their thoughts and their mind. But, you know, it was not until around, I mentioned 30 years ago, that by using the AMC devices, the neurosciences, yes, these guys were right. Because, you know, they need to see, you know, just to uh, light some places of the brain according to the situation, according to the scenario. Okay, until, and this is a question for all of you. Just please write down in the chat until which age I can learn. And remember, I am all, you know, I will stay there waiting for you, <laughs> waiting for your input. Come on, just, uh, what do you think? What do you think it is the, uh, when is the new age where we can learn? If you can please write it down in the chat. Mm -hmm. Folks, we'd like to hear from you or in this case see your comments what do you believe is there an age limit to like to learn omar what do you think omar cano just i have just you have, i see that you have a nice picture what do you think omar can you say a number can you you know guess a number don't google it please long life learning what it mean carmen what, what do you understand for long life learning Well, I um, hello, uh, yes. hello, Ariel, hello, Alan, hello, Ceci. Do you hear me? Yes, yes, yes that's yes, clear. Yes. I mean that uh, with lifelong life learning, that um, is a is an attitude, a way, a point of view about life that we all uh, in many kind of things. And we have um, um, active, uh, I, I can't call it, active, mm -hmm. active, active, yes, uh, yes, um, in, in the neuroscience is a very important uh, area we have to learn to manage ourselves, ourselves, and with uh, in relation with people and in, improve our relations, personal relations and our labor relations, every, every, every kind of relations, even though the politician mm -hmm. relations, I, I can't mm -hmm. <laughs> suppose, I, I mean, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. you know, uh, and you are close, and thank you so much for your income. Yes, you are close to that. You know, there is no which everyone can learn, even if you are 20 or 40. Uh, and Janine, and Jahina, thank you so much for your answer. And what about 50? What do you think? I can just, there are some comments also, just we can learn regardless of our age, always our brain is healthy. Mm -hmm. uh, from Carlos, there's no limit. Maybe the speed is affected. Maybe just, you know, it goes slower. Mm -hmm. For Omar, it depends on the field. Janina already mentioned that, you know, even if you're 20 or 40, um, for Milagros, we can learn any time yeah. from our life. Yeah, thank you. Life. Yeah, thank you, Alan. Thank you for reading that. So, yes, you know, folks, uh, the, the science, you know, the different investigations found that even up to 90 and 95 years old, we can continue to create new neural connections. That means that we can change, we can learn. 
but it first it will depend on, on us. You know, as an entire coach, when I coach a team or uh, some a, a group, you know, the question is, would you like to change? Do you believe it? Do you think that something that you need to change? If you say no, okay, so you know, let's, let's do other thing. Because you know, your brain, your your your, your connection, I say, I don't want to learn. I don't want to do something. And you know, this reminds me just uh, Robert Kiyosaki, the author of Rich Poor, uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And he says, you know, when you, he uses this phrase, when you are seeing a very expensive house and you said, I will never be able to buy that house, your brain automatically, you know, adopts that and said, okay, thank you so much for not making me work because, you know, otherwise we need to make new connections. The right word that Robert suggests is that, okay, so that is, a, that is an expensive house. How, what, are, what are the steps that I will do in order to be able to buy that house, you know? And it is not positive in thinking, it just, you know, just trying to, uh, you know, innovate in your brain, try to develop and to build new neural connections that would help you to get money in order to buy that house. And, you know, uh, what I said, and, you know, I, I practice that. Every time that we say, okay, it is responsible, Someone else is responsible. Our brain says, "Okay, yeah, thank you so much. I don't want just to use, you know, uh, my internal energy with new connection." That is one of the reasons it is very difficult to get out of our comfort zone. Because every time we get out of our comfort zone, we need to build new connection, and you know that is that that means that we need to use our neocortex. Imagine that our neocortex is one square meter. The rest of the two other brains are, you know, the whole galaxy. So imagine that. And also the neocortex is not energy efficient. So this is why when we are thinking, you know, and try to prioritize and do a lot of things, even we didn't make physical activity, we reach our home like, you know, that we were running a marathon. Very, very tired because we are not physical tired, but our brain is tired because we were working a lot with the neocortex. That is why one of the suggestions that we will, that we will see later with the artifacts, you know, it's just when you arrive at the office that you have a lot of energy early in the morning. And just, you know, not to avoid just to read the whole, the whole email, you know, you may mark the ones that, that you consider priorities, you know, the, the, the sender, where, which is the one that you will receive, you know, you, you can mark with different colors and you may be able to see them very quickly and you will not spend your energy in the very beginning try to search or to look for. Another interesting thing that we will see later as well is the way that you we can use different tools that we can use to prioritize. And we will see later. Any questions at now? Questions Good. in the chat or uh, one question, Ariel. Um, in terms of neuroscience, you know, you mentioned about like connecting the dots and using, our, you know, um, making our neurons work. How about like breaking those habits? For, for some, sometimes it requires, you know, the, a change of mindset, right? Just to, you know, like you mentioned, you know, a few minutes ago, like just changing our perspective of, you know, thinking more positively or more just creatively, right? So like mm -hmm. how... How do we change those habits that we've been just, you know, carrying over just for years, you know, in this is like in a survival mode, mode, right? Yes. First, you know, we need to accept that it is hard to get out of our comfort zone, that, you know, it will demand discipline. You know, for example, if you, if we refer to the initial example that Sergio mentioned, you know, we write and we do the same path always, just, you know, we don't think. But if we want to change, okay, let's use, let's select another path. So, you know, in that way, that if you always, for example, when you arrive at the office and when you start, you know, you start taking emails and say, okay, so sometimes what I say is, okay, write down what you did, your activities, you know, the day before. And then when you arrive, when, we, when you start your next day, okay, try, try to mark and select 
to start uh, with another topic. And you know, but it is discipline. Everything in life, and mainly in the neuroscience, is, is discipline. But it is, it is as long as, okay, I will try to do something different. And you know that most of the time, the first two, twice, three times, four times, you may fail because you know your brain already has that old habit that you know and when you are building new connections it demands a lot of energy and as i mentioned the brain wants only two things you know one is to uh, survive and the second is uh, uh how can i say in english you know be uh, uh i would say you know tener la razón, be be the right one you know uh, no no uh, other things that you know it is it is my way or the highway you know and th those are the only two things. And you know, also it is a discovery from Eurocent that it right. is quite interesting. But regarding to your question, uh, it is, you it's, know, to write it down and say, okay, if I want to change, what do I need to do in order to change that heart, that old heart? Did that answer your question? Yeah, yeah you do. Mm -hmm. It's like in our brain, you know, try to look for those shortcuts, right? Just to avoid the effort, right? There you are. And it is because, you know, our brain does using those shortcuts. Our brain does not need to use our neocortex that it is, demands a lot of energy. You know, we have our the, the, the map, and it is there. Okay, so you know it classifies. Okay, go use this map. Okay, uh, go to the office. Okay, use this map. You know, okay, uh, go to a to the mall. Okay, use this map, and there you are. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Any other question for us? Okay. Great. Okay. Okay. Let's move to the next one. Let me see because it is not refreshing. Just give me a bit. Okay. okay. You know, how it works the software, what, it, what we mentioned, you know, it is the, the, the brain, the mind, you know, is the software, you know, it, you know, and one, uh, this guy that I mentioned, Stanislav Barber says, our brain is like a Ferrari but we are always driving in first gear. You know what, because you know, we are not, we are you always using the same neural connections, you know, because it is hard for us to, to get out of our phone. That is why, you know, and this is the how, and, and the rest of the how, you know, uh, uh, the, the brain and the mind, you know, uh, they need to work together, but uh, our brain will say, okay, so I already have this connection, why do you need to build new because I do not know if I will be able to survive tomorrow. And one thing that it is very important, you know, how many of us has been in, you know, uh, just continuous attention, say, okay, so, you know, like, uh, and continuous attention demands stress, you know, and triggers the neuron of cortisona. The, you know, the cortisona, it is just temporary because it is only when we are threatened, when we are in alert, and just this is why we have a stress because we are every the whole day in alert that is not possible. You know, it is very time consuming and it does not help not even our health. So, you know, then we will see that how can we reduce and just, you know, release the focus and put the focus somewhere else. And you know, one one thing that I, I would like to share with all of you is also and regarding the focus. You know, just if you would like to concentrate on something that you know you will need to do in the next hour, it is good. Just, you know, in the chat, I, what I do in my office, I said, you know, I put in do not disturb. I put, you know, only I will not reply between this and this hour. And, you know, I also turn off my phone and it helped me to put the focus and to avoid distraction. Because every time we avoid distractions, and we will see with one sample in, in, in the role play today, just we lose focus. And every time we lose focus, you know, our brain goes there and then, you know, the, it lights other other place and then it goes back and said, and lights another one and it is time consuming. And, you know, by doing that, we are losing, you know, efficiency. That is why I put the sample between the brain, the hardware and the software and the neuro connection. Let's go there. You know, what I mentioned, you know, just, Neocortex is just one square meter into the galaxy. Your big brain, and we're feeling. Uh, you, you know, it, there are a lot of 
uh, white papers that describes these uh, and when you start to read, you know, in the very beginning, you know, how 85%, how this could be possible? You know, so that, you know, I do, and, and you know, uh, one, one subject that it is clear and you may see the difference is the marketing, you know, the marketing price to establish a connection with you, to tell you a product. And you will not need this pen. So can you say, oh, this pen. The marketing will, will generate the need for you to use this pen. And that's why. And when you establish a connection, you know, an emotional connection, it's very hard to break because you already have a neural connection in your brain. For example, you know, how many of us go and buy some product which is because our mother or our grandmother used to buy that kind of product? So you know, it reminds them, you know, immediately, you know, feels into into that neural map because we know, okay, oh yes, this brand. I remember when my when my, uh, you know, and I will ask you one thing: Have you ever seen the, the movie Ratatouille? It is like from a, Disney. Like a cartoon from Disney. Yes. Like, have, have you have you seen it? Yes, Paula, Angelo, or also. Great, Omar. you know, yeah. close to Marina. the end, the, the, the guy that used to taste different meals, he gone to the restaurant and he tried the creme brulee. Yes, I love it too. Angelo, yeah. Angelo, love it. Great, Angelo. And you know, he tried the creme brulee and he, he ate, he tasted. It reminds him immediately when he was a child, if you remember that, that scene. So, because you know, it is. It is, I mean, the taste brought him, I mean, triggered in his neurons the old map that he used to do when he was a child and he was with his, uh, his grandmother. So, you know, that is why, you know, our way that we connect. Sorry? Oh. oh, sorry. Can you please mute? Okay. Yeah, let me see. Okay, it is Carlos, yeah. No problem. Yeah, that's happening. You know, we are. Yeah, that kind of reminds me him about his family and being a child. Yes, yes, Carmen. Yes, you are right. So you know, it's just quite immediately. And Alan, if I if I saw you were saying you were going to say something about your a product or something that remind you your your grandmother, if I am mistaken, if I am not mistaken, a brand or something that I was saying. Oh, there are many actually. Um... Oh, my, my grandmother used used to love like we call it. Uh, it's not like the, the smell of emoliente. It's kind mm -hmm. of like a, a Peruvian mate. It's with, with it combines all the spices and other just um, just the smell. By smelling that, that just reminds me of my grandma how she used to make those you know emolientes, like homemade emolientes, um, mm -hmm. and that's just. It's, it's kind of like triggers something in my brain. It's like automatically, it's like yes. unconscious, but no. it's, it's- You're right, yes. And it is, you know, that is why our emotion, it is a trigger memory, yes, yes, yes. You know, that is why and it is next to our feeling, because, you know, if I ask you, and please, if you, please write it down, because I would like to see, you know, please write the name of a teacher during kindergarten, primary school, or secondary that was very important for each of you. Okay. Teacher, mentor, or just whoever. Whatever. Yes. You know, uh, feel free. Just make this interactive, more interactive. Yes. Uh, yes. I, I need folks. to each of you folks. Because, you know, it is it is good to know your names or you know just to see your anyway. your comment. Yes. Miss Goyita, <laughs> Carmen. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, my 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 primary school that uh, the teacher was Anna. You know, and I remember like I used to be today, you know. Mm -hmm. Miss Angela. Thank you, Paula. Miss Angela. Yes. Yeah, well, my teacher, my, uh, oh, which is his name, go. Carmen? Her name, sorry. It was uh, Goyita. Oh, Goyita. Goyita. Oh, no. yeah. oh, Miss Goyita. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. So nice. So Anyone good. else? Anyone else have any name of any just teacher, tutor? Come on, folks. We have how many people we are? 
We have yeah. here the numbers, so yeah, I, I bet yeah, you that you some names, you know, yeah, just to just... share with everyone. Mm -hmm. We have 44, 45 people. Okay, one more. I want one more. Yeah. Okay, they say, would you please share? Okay. My principal, you know. Okay, thank you, Paula. Mm -hmm. Yes. Also, Jorge was oh, saying he that. Was, oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Good uh, for my ex and grandma. Great. So, you know, yeah, that, those kind of feelings, you know, our mm -hmm. roulette, that, you know, it is like exactly what reminds us. Because, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and also we have a negative from some other folks, but just, you know, I want just to work on the on the positive. Right. Thank you. And it Jorge is way. Yeah, sorry, Alan. Yeah, Jorge on. also mentioned that every event uh, plus an emotion, it's going to be a story in your brain, especially in our sub conscious yeah. yes yes that's right and this is why uh, uh, because you know it is it is our emotions in the in the limbic brain that is why yes and, and paula was you know he his principal was his father was her father <laughs> <laughs> so, Whoa, oh, I, I, I don't envy you <laughs> maybe very tough isn't it i mean not tough, but you know maybe for you yeah, when you yeah. were when you were younger some, you know yeah, father, some you pretty, know how can you yeah can yeah, be late was wearing two hats <laughs> yeah she can be late or just you know some privileges <laughs> yeah, no no maybe not because you know she, as uh, as daughter of the principal she must you know walk the talk so oh, you know perhaps, maybe yeah, on the other side as well you have to set an example right yeah. <laughs> but you won't be bullied for sure. Oh yeah, it was the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Thank you, Paula. That was good. Thanks Great. for sharing. Yeah, thank you so much. And well, you know, we have our emotion. Uh, and you know, he was more exigent. Oh yeah, <laughs> I can imagine, yeah. Uh, and you know, in order to continue with our emotion, so you know, there are some that are very, you know, are part of our, it is a combination between the limbic and the reptilian, right. and I mean the fear. Because, there's a, you know, there's yes, a question, on. Ariel, uh, from Carmen. Why do some people have more developed uh, limbic brain than others? Yes, Carmen, if you would like to, to explain a bit about what do you mean by develop, it may, may give me, you know, additional information. Feel free to write in the chat or... or uh, say, say to the audience, uh, unmuting your microphone. Okay. Mm, well, I mean, some kind of people, some people I know, <laughs> or some relatives they have, are very emotional. They they can express their emotions very easily, and other people know. Oh, I, I understand. Shy. I don't know if they are shy or, or they mm -hmm. don't have... Yes, yes because, yeah. you know, sometimes it's related to our personality. But, you know, every... How many of us have that feeling with, you know, I got this feeling, but I cannot put words. And, and when we do that, it is that, you know, there is something that it, we do not have identification. And, you know, I would like to share... I would like to share, oh, thank you, Carmen. And you know, I would like to share something that, you know, when a soccer player, you know, or football that we use, we call it in college in America, if the a player, it is in the, um, so as, you know, not in the primary team, that means as a, how do you call, you know, a, a backfield that if, if for, of the 11 players, there were some studies that his brain, the parts of his brain, light, are exactly the same as he has an injury. You know, like he was broken his toe. Exactly the same part. You know, that means that our feelings, you know, it, it is the combination that, you know, there are, we have a lot of places or connections that are of their feelings. So, for example, the fear for us in the past is what the only one that keep us alive. Because, you know, just in the African savanna, when we were tribes, that is why we need to work together in a collaborative way. Imagine, can you imagine just, uh, you know, Maria, Maria Tejada fighting against, you know, a big lion in the African savanna alone? Of course, we were going to die. So we are not the smartest. 
we are not the fastest living living beings on the on the on the earth, but working together, we can make the difference. And that difference is part of our of this feeling. So you know, here it is like you know to keep us alive, to, to keep our you know uh, our um, human beings the future. You know, anger. It is like you know if. There were when we were a tribe and there was there were you know very limited meals. So there was a hier hierarchy that you know the alpha used to want it first because it was the one that could deliver more food for the next time. And you know the rest, the rest of the of the feelings, you know, like joy, you know, is it, it, in, in the very past when we were Europeans, always related, you know, to sex sexuality just you know to reproduce ourselves because if we were not able to reproduce what well, were well, the thing the others you know surprise us and disgust and um, maybe uh disgust is you know as a repulsion but the others you know surprises is still under discussion there is no formality about you know which in the past you know in the European in the connection with the limbic brain which were the 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 emotions that can trigger surprise. Because you know, they, our emotions are triggered by something. And as I mentioned earlier, there is no good about things. You know, it is the way that we assess and we classify into our brain. That is why. Did I, did I answer uh, your question, uh, Carmen? Partially? <coughs> You're mute. Feel free, feel free to, yeah. Yeah, you're mute, Carmen. Sorry. Mm. Um, yes, partially, I think because uh, I. You please, a... close, can you please speak close to the microphone because you know I barely hear you. Okay. I think there's some kind of influence the um, experience in the, in the early life, very important. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Yes, you know, by uh, the uh, end. Yes, sorry, go on. If they have, if the child or the, the little baby has a, has or not, um, I don't know, a mother or a, 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 a sister, a bigger sister or something, someone who cares about them, about the baby. No? The baby mm -hmm. learn how to love and how to feel good, uh, good feelings, I think. That's, mm -hmm. yeah. that's is very important too, I think. Right. Yes, yes, right. Yep, absolutely. Okay. So yeah, you know, I thought that it was one hour and 30, but we only have one hour. So I would like to, you know, just to run a bit fast. So let's go with the, with, you know, the mindfulness. Mindfulness, it is very important because, you know, and thank you so much for input, Carmen. Uh, you know, mindfulness is, you know, our brain is always to start thinking, move back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So, you know, if we I try to stop us one big, you know, one, three minutes, 20, and just, you know, get up relaxed, it may be help us, you know, to refresh and to load a game of energy, our neocortex, and be able to have clarity when we have a problem. And, you know, this is also scientist experiments that there was a, a group of people trying to solve something and they went away and you know, two or three hours they did whatever they they make them feel good. And when they return, they solve the problem. And I bet you that some of you had this problem. You know, you you, you got the solution. You know, by uh, running or you know uh, listening to music or doing something else. Because it is when when we get out of the problem, as our mind you know connects and and lights our part of the rain. You know, our innovation. And our innovation is resulting into problems. So, you know, we do not solve all the problems with the neocortex. We use our limbic. And, and every time we, we force our neocortex, we reduce the possibility to innovate in our limbic brain. That is why it is good, you know. Whatever works for you, just to get relaxed, that will work. Okay, so focus on the task. So, you know, just in order to work as part of the artifact, 
try to stay focused and you know avoid distractions in order to be more efficient because if we are using our neocortex we are, this is not time consuming so it may not help us and just if, if we can you know mute the phones or you know turn it off whatever we can whatever that works for us it will be it will be great that is why it is good to be you know more efficient and we will do one one sample that i will show you that our neocortex is serial cell one plus three so uh do you if of you uh, wrote I have a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil handy. Do we have? Can you say yes in the chat? Or, or you can do, you know, if you don't have it, no worries. You, you may have it later. But if someone can answer in the chat, yeah, that, that could uh, really, really help me to understand what yeah, we have. Nina, Nina faster, okay, great. Great, good, thank you. So let, let's let's do one sample, please. Let's write from one to ten on my count of three. You know, one, two, three. Okay, are we done? From one to ten. Okay, good. Great. So let's write. Let's now you know write one. A to B uh, and that until until ten. And I bet you that it took at least twice the time. When we write from one to ten, we are using our limbic because you know it's something that we already have the neural connection, like one plus one. If we do one plus one, we do not need to use our neocortex because we use our limbic brain. But if we have to make 175 plus 322, we need to use our neocortex. So that is why we will see, and that is very easy sample that you will see, we are not multitasking. Like the sample of one, two, one A, two B, three C, and such and such. So you know, my gift to each of you, it is that every time that we think that we are going to do multitasking, as we may be able to do, but we will be much, much more efficient if we you know, just put focus only in one activity and one activity only. Mm -hmm. Do we agree with that? Do, do, do you, did you experiment that? If you can please uh, write on the chat, it will, it will really help me. Okay, great. Okay, yeah, folks, so yes. I don't want just to uh, keep you longer. So, you know, then, uh, this, uh, there are other topics that I would like to share. So uh, if we just let me go back, you know, about subjects that we should see in the school, you know, emotional intelligence, because nobody in the school, when we were kids between one and 11 years, told us about our emotions. And it is very important because 85% are, are results of what we are doing. So that is why I think it is very important. Also, you know, nutrition about the way that we eat, you know, saves, you know, I, I talked to my son since he was, you know, seven years old about the stock option. Because, you know, just to, and, you know, I also helped him to negotiate, you know, because we were, are going to do on our daily parts uh, since we start on every job or even in university or even in the secondary. That is why, and sales, talents, and creativity, you know? And one very important thing, innovation and creativity can be learned. You know, when someone you say, I am not good at math, no, I to believe on you, that, and that you know, by having the discipline to practice and practice it, you will do good. You know, sometimes because it is, maybe you don't like, or you may have a bad experience, very bad teacher or something else, but just, you know, be prepared and uh, think, you know, you can, each of us, we can, and we can do, you know, we can include, yeah, I would include, yes, absolutely. Project management and prioritization. That is very one. And thank you so much, Omar. Yes, yes, you are fully right. And, you know, if you see the images, you know, as all together at the same time, you know, reports and stakeholder due dates, our project team, our vendors. So all of that, you know, how can we prioritize? So one artifact is just, you know, if you can prioritize the day before, I mean, one day before, you will do it, it will reduce your time consuming of the neocortex. And folks, that is all I, I hope that I was able to share and give you some 
some tools in order to uh, help with your daily activities as project manager and your project teams as well. <laughs> but again, thank you very, very much. And is there anything that uh, you would like to ask before our checkout? Great. Yes, Paula, that is great. Yes, that is uh, amazing. Alan, we yeah. can we can schedule another session just you know to share share thoughts and you know just to uh, uh, add other other topic inside the new Great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, folks, in, in the comments, uh, you know, please, uh, Sergio, ready, just uh, share the survey in the chat. And also, if you want just a, a second delivery, <laughs> if we can push Ariel to come back. I know we, were, we ran, you know, out of time. This was an uh, interesting topic, but definitely it's more to talk, more to share. Um, yes, please, you know, put in the comments if you like to, you know, um, have an, a second session for, of this topic. Mm -hmm. Again, all thank right. You. Yeah, thank you, Alan. Thank you, Sergio, thank you for Ariel. hosting. Thank you all for your inputs. And what it was a pleasure. And yeah, let me know. I just yeah, we will let to deliver a second session. And we can put you know we can work on on any particular subjects that you would like. Well, okay. thank you, Sergio, Alan. Thank you, Ariel. Thank you so Alan. much. Thank you, Ariel. Thank you, Sergio. Thank you so much okay. uh, to the audience, please. Don't forget to fill out the survey because that is the way that uh, you will be you will be granted the PDU that deserves this nice activity. Yeah, so that is helpful for us, and of course the PDU will be granted to you. Yeah, so thank you very much, and um, well, we hope to see you again in one of the next activities like this. And if you can join the next version of the course of a conversation course, uh, well, please come here and, and be part of our English coaches or just an attendant to be for six weeks uh, talking English about project management. Thank you again, Ariel. Thank you again, Alan Garcia, for this nice event. Thank you, Ariel. And thanks thank to the you, audience. Sir, and see you in the next, next time. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Absolutely. Thank you, everybody. Have a great Bye. night. Bye-bye. Thank you. <laughs>